Last month on www.negromanosphere.com, contributor and now senior writer Marcus Love wrote a very powerful article that I want everybody to read. It's in the description and also to the first comment on this video. The name of the article was called Being a Simp is a Choice. And it was perfect timing because Kanye West had just come out with a statement saying that slavery was a choice. And I'm going to deal with this slavery was a choice statement that Kanye West, because many people were saying, well, how was it that being in slavery for 400 years was a choice? But then Kanye West reclarifies it and says that the mental state of the African-American and the things that he chooses to do today, although it does not benefit him or her, his actions show or her actions show that slavery, mental slavery is a choice. If you look at the community as it is right now, look at the out of wedlock births. You know that you're going to go into poverty. Look at the crime. Look at the gangs and things. All of these things that turn or tear apart black America, yet people still do them. Although they know that the outcome will be negative. Now, that's quite strange that we make that connection when you talk about the black community, slavery and crime. But Marcus Love points out that a lot of you black men who also aid and abet black feminism. Although you know it has no bearing on your life in a positive fashion. You brothers still, some of you, find yourself kissing ass and looking behind on the behalf of women. Although it does you no earthly good. But what's even so bad about it is at least you could argue with slavery. That's something that you're born into. I mean, even the slaves who tried to leave the cotton fields of South Carolina and Alabama, uh, they would be put to death had they been caught or whipped. Some branded, sold off as animals. But here you are. The African-American man, knowing that so many things are against you, you're coming up with less opportunity, you have less of a network, and if you make it big, you have me too, somebody can come around and say you touched them 345 years ago and you go to jail, but yet you still want to fight other men on the behalf of women being a simp is a choice I dare you to go to any prison system or any place don't matter what state who will you find in there sitting in cell block D or cell block A or any maximum or minimum risk security prison, you will find many black men in those prisons today. Not over necessarily drugs all the time. Not over necessarily being a blood or a crip, but a lot of these confrontations, although they have not been directly cited in some cases, are over women he looked at my girl wrong or he was trying to holler at my chick or my chick told me that he tried to rape her and she lied and she was somebody else do, do you know what breaks us up as brothers simping on the behalf of women and yet you niggas who listen to these rap music and the rap music tell you what's going on what do you brothers choose to do you brothers, many of you have chosen to put women on a pedestal. And this is your choice. Like Brother Marcus Love said, many of you guys are working out, going to school,
trying to make money, not for yourself, but because you feel it will impress chicks. Many of you are backbiting, talking behind brothers' backs, pillow talking other black men because you think Lolo Keisha is going to like it or, or, or Juanita is going to like it. And then at the end of the day, after you get through kissing her behind and after she get through using you for all that you have, she throws you back into the lake of fire and starts off with somebody new. Because a simp never has a long career. But you brothers choose to do this. You choose to be at the beckoning call of women. And then at the same time, you choose to always fight black men. This is something that a lot of you guys do. I'm not trying to be critical. I got to be telling the truth. But don't you know that in this year, 2018, you black men got a choice to finally be men, to finally live life on your terms, to not have to bust your ass like Brother Marcus Love was saying and, and, and work all your life and then give your money away to somebody. While you're out there showing off all you got. All on Instagram counting your hundreds. All on Facebook counting your hundreds. Trying to get somebody to pay attention to you. And then when they take it from you, you want to be upset. But don't you know that being as simple as a choice, bro? You can't choose your career and then get mad at the pay. Let me tell you this and I'm going to close out. Joan Namath was given an interview one day with Howard Cosell. And at this time, Joan Namath was the highest paid player in the NFL. And the conversation that he had, Howard Cosell with Joe Namath, went like this. He said, well, Mr. Namath, you are arguably the highest paid player in professional football. And not only are you the highest paid player, your position, quarterback position, is the highest paid position in the sport. But a lot of players are upset about it. What do you have to say about that? He said, well, listen, I chose my position. They chose theirs. And at the same time, here I am hearing all of these niggas complaining about their position. But it's a choice. Simps never win. And the reason why we have so much uh, animosity towards black men, why black men can't do nothing in this world, over all, despite all the money and, and all the readers we got, too many niggas simping, selling out brothers. And I'm going to let you read his article and let him put the rest of the spin on it. But I don't want to tell everything in the article. So I want you guys not only to read it, but to comment on it. But black men being a simple is a choice. And if you really understand for a woman to really respect you, if you be yourself and set boundaries on the woman, that's going to get you more further than being a simp. That's the hard part about it. You actually choose to be at the weakest and most vulnerable position to get less. That's what's wrong with the simp. But you brothers choose that every single day. And can't nobody help you when you do that. So brothers, understand that being the simp is a choice. I got to keep repeating it. Now, before we go, I want you to click on this article. I got great news. Sunday, I've reached out to a few brothers on a black male empowerment hangout. The advice show has accepted. Anthony Brian Logan has accepted the invitation. That will be on a Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have reached out to RB The Breakthrough. I have reached out to Glennon Cameron. I have reached out to Professor T. Hassan Johnson. I have reached out to uh, Brandon Tatum. I have reached out to Brother Ben X. Uh, and th right now, that's all that I have reached out to. But two of the brothers have... Uh, accepted the position to come on and join the hangout. We'll be talking about some black male issues. Hopefully we can do this every or twice a month with some of the big namer guys. Talk about the issue that our brothers are going through. So I look forward to you brothers being there. I will also, oh, I also have reached out to Alpha Male Strategies. So I have posted the link to that video also in the description. I want you to go and like the video, okay? Go like the video and subscribe to my secondary channel, O'Shea Vlogcast, because it's going to be epic. You definitely want to be a part of that. If all of these brothers show up, it's going to be huge. But even the advice show and Anthony Brian Logan, just those two alone is going to be big. So, brothers, 
come together. Let's support one another. And understanding being a simple is a fucking choice. Take back your goddamn life and stop kissing the ass for every goddamn body. All right. And again, read Marcus Love's uh, 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 article on this. Comment on it. And the second thing we want you to brothers to do, go ahead and like the video uh, on the, the new stream. I want to get up to 100 likes. Okay. Subscribe to my O'Shea Vlogcast secondary channel too. If you're not subscribed to there, we'll be going live on that channel and it's going to be great. A lot of big time brothers talking about a lot of big time issues, trying to help black men come together. And that's what this is all about. So again, brothers, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. Oh, shout out to Jay Miller podcast. I've also reached out to him too. Peace out.